foods you eat and how you exercise, you can actually make yourself smarter with that as well. Amy Hoff is a personal trainer with the New York Sports Club. Amy, good morning to you. Good morning. Good for your body exercise. How exactly is it good for your brain? Well, what exercise does is it stimulates and refreshes the brain through getting blood and oxygen up to the brain, using the heart, pumping the heart, pumping um, oxygen into all of the muscles. You know, have you ever heard the, the saying, you know, I'm going to go for a run and clear my head? Right. It's that type of thing. What it does is it shocks the neurons and all the good feel-good chemicals, so it gets the brain clear, clears out the cobwebs. All right, so are, are there certain exercises that are simply better for the brain than others? Well, yeah, so what you want to do is make sure you have cardio, because what that does is it pumps blood and oxygen to the muscles and the heart, which then goes to the brain. The other thing you want to focus on, what these guys are doing, is a lot of coordination and balance, because that, again, stimulates the brain. When you exercise, you see the results pretty quickly with your body. How quickly will you realize the results with your brain? Well, for an example, if you have a big presentation or a meeting that you have to go to and you're foggy and you can't think clearly, if you just get down on the floor in your office and do some, some sit-ups, maybe get up and do some jumping jacks, that stimulates Right before a presentation. Well, right. It'll kind of clear your head and get you ready to go. You won't be sweaty, but you'll get at least pumped up a little bit. All right, Amy Hoff, thanks very much. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you as well. Let's go back up.